Hello everyone, welcome back to the Bingata Bowl, home of the Rampage. They welcome the Warblers in today. Russ Smalls is on the hill for the Warblers, and for the home team, we have Vincente Sims. Tim Barneswell steps in for the away team. And quickly, 0-2 on Barneswell. That one's hit into left center. But Webb is there to track down for the first out. Ray Rose steps in. Playing left today. DHs every now and then. He's also a leadoff hitter every now and then. One and one now to Rose. Take a look here at Sims. Sims, four-seamer, two-seamer, slider, and change. Popped up. And Chang goes away for the second out. There's a Mull Holloway. Playing third today for the Warblers. Sims, more of a junk and velocity pitcher than accuracy. So we'll see how that plays out today. That one's hit into left field and drops in for a base hit in front of Kellen Webb. So the Warblers have a base runner here in the top of the first. Brings up Kenna Watson. Sims is 1-1 one and one on the year. There's a pretty darn good ERA there, 0.75. Among the best in the league. And he strikes out Watson for the final out of the inning. Webb, Pruitt, and Chang up now. In the bottom half of the frame. For the rampage. The home crowd didn't like that. The home crowd wearing their traditional rhino gray shirts. Page gray, I guess we can call it at this point. That one's popped up. Is that a Ortiz? Yes, it is. Out there in right field. First out, Miles Pruitt steps in. Had a good season so far, Miles Pruitt is. Grounds that one. Foul. And that one's hit up the middle for a base hit. So Pruitt's on first. Rampage have a base runner. Brings up Valentino Chang. And Pruitt, pretty decent runner, and there he goes. He's hit the Holloway, goes the long way, the out at first. So two outs, Kyan Baker steps in, DHing today for the Rampage. That's that one off to left, foul. Smalls, as well, has an amazing ERA, 087. That's incredible. He's a velocity junk guy as well. That one's popped up. And put away there by Rose for the final out of the inning. I guess we'll talk a little bit more about Smalls when he comes back on the mound. Five, six, and seven up here for the Warblers at the top of the second. Judy Charles steps in. That one's fouled away. Kind of rattles around the railing. That tongue twister. Up the middle, base hit. And Charles is on for the Warblers. Now batting, the first baseman, Marlon Johns seven. steps in. I'd like to get something going here. Ooh, that one's knocked down by Chang. Kind of jumped on top of it there. Runner advances to second. And Bear Yang's in now. Second baseman. For the Warblers ties him up inside. 0-2 now. And strike three. Good pitch selection there. There's lots of gas by Vicente Sims. So two outs, one on for Blake Ortiz. Right fielder for the Warblers. I really do like the Warblers unis. I really do like the gray and teal color combo. That one's fouled off and gets into the crowd just in the first row. And foul back. One and two now to Ortiz. And called third strike. 95 in the outside part of the plate. Ortiz did not like the call. It's a little lone outside for my liking too, but I'm going to argue with Lou behind the plate. Case and Prowse steps in now 
for the Rampage. Catcher fouls that one away. Let's look at Smalls here. Four-seamer, two-seamer, curveball change. It's popped up. Should be a can of corn, and it is there for Barnswell for the first out. Dallas McFreddy steps in. McFreddy has really turned things around. He's having a rough start to his, his uh, season. Nice hit 273, three homers, seven ribbies. That one's hit up the middle. So McFreddy on with a one out hit. Brings in Lucian Sparks. You notice up and down this Rampage lineup, everyone's hitting pretty good. That one's hit quite well into right center. Is it going to stay in the park? It does. It hits right off the top of the wall. And easy, easy RBI triple there. For Sparks. Brings up Micah Gilmore. I was just saying about how everyone has a pretty high average, <laughs> except for poor Micah Gilmore. He's at 174 so far. And I believe he's an A-rated player, so and a power should be a power-hitting second baseman for the Rampage. The 2-2 two two now to Gilmore. And tries to get him to golf at that one. Second out, brings up Cash Parsons. Center fielder, number nine hitter. Parsons has 10 RBIs in the air. He's up there among the league leaders. That one's hit in the left field. Does it curve foul? It stays fair. Runner comes home. And Parsons is in there with the two out RBI double. Brings up the leadoff hitter, Kellen Webb, 0 for 1 today. Parsons runs quite well there, second two. It's a low ball. Fouled away, so the 1 2 now to Kellen Webb. And the 2 2. See, Smalls looks tense right now. They throw to second. Just work the hitter at this point, that's what I say. Get two outs, two strikes on the guy. It's fouled away. Yeah, Smalls looking tense. And again, they try to check on uh, Parsons there. And they get Webb to strike out. He throws the bat in frustration. Rampage get two runs here in front of the home crowd. Brings up Nico McLongthrow. The Warblers catcher. Striking the inside part of the plate. And another strike. 0-2 now on McLongthrow. That one's hit well. Right at Webb for the first out. Now batting the center fielder, number 15. Barnswell steps in 0 for 1. Outside. Sims is making quick work of these Warblers hitters. That one's hit again to Webb in left field for out number two. And Bray Rose up 0 for 1. Home crowd really liking Sims' performance so far. Ball high. 1 1 now to Rose. That one's popped up. And put away there by Chang. Final out of the inning. Go to the bottom of the third. Two, three, and four up. Miles Pruitt steps in. One for one today with a single. So it's outside pitches. Small's now feeling a little more neutral. Maybe he had that half inning to kind of calm himself down. That one has hit a mile, though. Well, maybe not that. Maybe not that far. It just sounded really good. Holy cow. Four, miles, 420 foot shot by Miles Pruitt. Third homer of the year, eighth RBI. That was a no doubter, that's for sure. Smalls moves to tenth now, so. Maybe that half inning to relax is all for naught. Well, he works back here on Chang, 0 and 2 now. Gets him to pop up to McLong throw for the first out. Kyan Baker steps in. 0 for 1 today. With that home run, the Rampage take the lead. Well, take the lead. Rampage increase their lead 3 to, three to nothing over the Warblers. 
2 2 now. And Baker hits this one. A little dribbler to Yang. Round number two. Case of Kraus steps in. Oh, for one. Contact for his lefties is activated. Now it's hit right back to Yang. And there's out number three. So the Rampage get a run here on that big home run. 420 foot shot. To left field. The third baseman. The Warblers come up now in the top of the fourth. Ball Holloway leads it off. He's one for one today. Sims looks locked in. 95 on the gun there from Sims. And the two and two pitch. And gets Holloway striking out. Brings up Kenna Watson. Over so far today and brushes her off the plate. That one's hit very well down the left field line, but foul. So the 1 1 now to Watson. That one's hit quite well and off the wall. And Watson will have a one out double here for the Warblers in the top of the fourth. Brings up Judy Charles, who's 1 for 1 today with a single. Takes a ball inside from Sims. Still locked in. You can see not much moving on the meters. That one's hit quite well. Does it stay in the park? It does. She just got under it. McFreddy camps under it for the out. The runner goes the third. Oh, boy, did Judy Charles just miss that one. Brings up Marlon Johns with two outs and a runner on third. And looks at a strike. Ball high and inside, one and one now. And a ball low. The home crowd wanted that one, I think. And grounded through the left side of Sparks there to snag it. He throws it away. And the runner goes to second. And they start throwing it around. Whew, like a little league game that brings back memories. The Warblers get a run here on the error. Still two outs. There, Yang strikes out. So Sims gets Yang. But the Warblers get a run here on the throwing error. And Dallas McFreddy's in to lead it off in the bottom half of the fourth. Small still working away now, approaching 50 pitches. That one's hit right at Yang for the first out. Sparks steps in. Kind of airmailed it there to uh, Chang at first, the last inning, last half inning. It's off Watson's glove. So Sparks is on first, brings up Micah Gilmore's 0 for 1 today. One on, one out. Bottom of the fourth. And the 2-0 and now to Gilmore. Small's past 50 pitches. He's accuracy has gone down, is now in the red. I can't imagine he'll last much longer. Gets Gilmore here. Full count now. Might be his last hitter. Grounded to Yang. Ground number two. And Cash Parsons comes in one for one with a double and ribby. And they're going to go for the lefty on lefty matchup. Even though Smalls is in the red in a couple of areas here. So two on, one out, one one pitch. Now the two one to Parsons. And fouls that one away into the rampage dugout. And gets him swinging. For strike three, they throw it on the first to complete it. So, Rampage get a goose egg that inning. Brings up Blake Ortiz, number eight hitter for the Warblers. Sims still in there, still dealing, still locked in. And the 3-1 now to Ortiz. 
And high, an outside strike. Popped up. See who's there to get it. And it looks like it will be Gilmore. For the first out. Nico McLongthrope steps in now. Number nine hitter and catcher. He's 0 for today. It's a ball in the dirt. E5 there on the gun. Nice little change up. Shattered bat. And it looks like Gilmore's going to be there again. Puts that one away for the second out. Tim Barnswell, leadoff hitter, 0 for 2 today. His ball outside. Sims, again, his accuracy and velocity have taken a little dings, but overall, looking pretty comfortable. 3 and 1 now. Barnswell. And the full count now. And Barnswell gets a base hit into the right field. So the Warblers with a base runner here. Two outs. Brings up Gray Rose, who's 0 for 2 today. Very, very good speed on the bases here for the Warblers. Barnswell, the faster runners in the league. Quickly 0 and 2 on Rose. Runner goes. And a little blooper to Chang for the final out of the inning. So top of the order up now, the Rampage. And Drew Clements comes in in relief of Russ Smalls. That one's sky high pop up but getting foul. Might have taken out one of those drones that are flying around the Bingada Bowl. 2 1 out of Webb. That one's hit quite well into center field. And it gets over the wall. Home run. Kellen Webb. 432 foot shot. His third homer of the year, fourth ribby. Rampage take the 4 1 lead. Miles Pruitt steps in, two for two. He already has a home run today. He pops this one up. And Yang's out there. He'll put it away. For the first out. Valentino Chang steps in. Over today. Looking tense at the plate, but Clemen <laughs> Clemens is looking tense on the mound. <laughs> and Clemens was used quite heavily over the past couple of games, so see his stats are already down a little bit. That's grounded to Holloway for the second out of the inning. It's a Kyan Baker. He's 0 for 2 today. You see velocity, junk, accuracy already down. Stamina's down quite a bit, too. Clements said he was used heavily. And that was fouled away. 2-2 two -two down to Baker. Popped up. It's not going to drop in. It does. It drops right in front of Barneswell. So the Rampage have a base runner now. Two outs as Casey Prowse steps in. And we're going to have another pitching change here. Nelson Crawford comes in out of the Warbler's pen. That's grounded. Kenna Watson for the final out. 3, 4, and 5 do up at the top of the sixth here for the Warblers. Holloway's 1 for 2. And we're going to have a defensive replacement. Peck is going to first base. So Chang is out. And the 1-1 one -one now to Holloway. And brush him back off the plate, the 2-1. Hey. And good pitch there from Sims. And that one, oh, Peck somehow comes up with that. Diving stop for the first out. Brings up Kenna Watson now. Hey. Inside. And inside, one and one now to Watson. Take a look, Sims. 81 pitches, velocity, junk, accuracy, all down. That one past the diving peck at first base. Now batting, the designated hitter, now base runner, so, Stubb Barnett comes in as a pinch runner. Brings up Judy Charles, one out, runner on first. Runner with pretty good speed there on first, too. And the 1-1 now to Charles. 
That one's hit into center field, base hit. They send the runner to third here, let's see. And the cutoff by Sparks. I don't think there would have been a play there anyway. So now runners in the corners. Marlon John steps in. He's 0 for 2 today. And that brings in Dainty Simon. Dainty Simon is a very, very good reliever. The best, one of the best pitchers in the league, I would say. And 2-1 now to Johns. That one's popped up. Parsons is there. The run comes home. And it's a 4-2 game. Now back, the second baseman, number 11. So two outs now. Runner on first for Barry Yang. He fouls that one away. Oh and two now. And fouled off. Again. Grounded up the middle. Base hit. Yang on with the two out hit. We have runners on first and second for Ortiz. Now we have a pinch hitter for Ortiz. Bertram Fields comes in. Looks at a strike. That one's hit into right field. So base hit. So the hit parade keeps going here for the Warblers. And Nico McLongthrum now steps in. And we're going to have a pinch hitter for him. Rip Lynn now. Pinch hitting for McLongthrum. Right. Hope you're keeping score at home, folks. There's going to be a lot of defensive replacements on the Warbler side. That was a base hit up the middle. One run comes home. They're sending the second runner. Plate the plate. There is no play. It is a tie ball game. Brings in Barneswell, the leadoff hitter. All of this happening with two outs. So two on, two out, Barneswell in, fouls that one away. And peop the uh, Warblers hitters are getting to Simon. Like I said, he's one of the best pitchers in the league and gets him to strike out. Nonetheless, the Warblers get three runs here in the top of the six. They tied the ball game. Kind of stifled the home crowd too, I might say. And there are all the, all the defensive replacements. We're not going to be able to get through all of those. You can pause the video if you'd like and fix your scorecard. McFreddy hits this one into right field and gone. Just snuck over the wall just by the foul pole there. 347 foot shot for McFreddy. Fourth homer, eighth ribby of the season. And just like that, the rampage. Take the 5-4 lead. Brings up Lucian Sparks, two for two. He had a triple his last time up. Man, baseball's a weird game like that, folks. Even simulated fake baseball's a weird game like that. <laughs> so Sparks walks. Brings up Micah Gilmore is 0 for two. And Crawford's still in the hill. And 2 0 now to Gilmore. I would go right at Gilmore if I was 100 on the gun there from Crawford, who's a big velocity pitcher. And they walk Gilmore. So he kind of pitched around him. Maybe he's hitting in the low hundreds, so I would just kind of went at him. But Cash Parsons steps in now. He's having a pretty good game so far, if I do recall. Two on, no outs. 0 oh 2 now to Parsons. And ball in the dirt. And shattered bat pop up. And Fields is there. So one out. Kellum Webb up. Two on. And it was interesting. Crawford's junk and accuracy was flashing red just before, but now he's kind of gotten his groove back. And strikes him out. Strikes out Kellum Webb. Brings up Miles Pruitt, two for three today. Home run, single, and an RBI. Two outs, two runners on. Ooh, gets him swinging over that one. Ball inside. High and inside. A little chin music. Two and one now to Pruitt. That one's popped up. Ortiz camps under it. 
Actually, it's Rip Lynn now. Forgot there's a lot of defensive replacements there. So going to the top of the seventh. The Rampage get a run, though, on the barely home run. <laughs> Brings in Marcus. Marcus Graham comes in, and Wayne Payne now playing third. So Graham is their closer. He comes in to try to save this game here. Gray Rose up, number two hitter. So two, three, and four up this inning for the Warblers. One and two. That one's popped up. Is that going to be in no man's land? No, it's not. Freddy's there. First out. Holloway steps in. One for three today. Grounder up the middle for a base hit. So make it two for four. And the Warblers have a base runner. Brings up Stub Barnett, his first at bat of the game. And a strike, 96 in the gun from Graham. These two teams are pretty evenly matched. The Warblers are six and five. The Rampage are six and three. Of course, I play in different divisions, but pretty evenly matched nonetheless. And they get him striking out. So Barnett goes down on strikes. Brings up Judy Charles, who's two for three with two singles today. Two outs and the Warblers' last chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even take the lead. 0 oh 2 now on Charles. And lined out to Sparks for the final out of the game. So, what a back and forth kind of ball game. But the Rampage win 5 to 4 over the Warblers. For the lines, 4-10-0 for the Warblers, 5-9-1 for the Rampage. Look at that, that three-run six. I thought that, I thought we were honestly going to extras. Like I said, these teams are pretty evenly matched. Even Smalls and Vincente Sims are two, two best pitchers in the league, but uh, in terms of ERA for sure. But yeah, Rampage pull it out there. Take a look at the... Uh, Offense, holy cow, so many defense, so many substitutions on the Warblers' side. You know, Holloway had a good game, Watson had a good game, Charles had a good game. And Rip Lynn, a substitute, came in one for one, got two RBIs. On the Rampage side, you see Miles Pruitt had a real good game, McFreddy had a good game. And definitely uh, Pruitt and Webb there, the home runs. And also, I think Freddie snuck that one just over the wall to take the lead. Simon gets the win. He improves to 4 0. Oh. He's the most wins out of any uh, pitcher, I believe, in the Cheese League. And he comes out of the bullpen quite a bit for the Rampage. So you can see his ERA is 093. He can get knocked around a bit, he's pitched quite a bit. Uh, Crawford gets the loss on the Warbler side. He's 0-2-2. Two and, two. and then Graham gets the save. His fourth save, I believe he also leads the Cheese League in saves. Look at the top three players here, all from the Rampage. Lucian Sparks, 2-2. Two two. Triple RBI and a run. McFreddy, 2-3. for three. Again, that go-ahead homer there. The RBI and two runs. And Miles Pruitt, 2-4, for four, home run. RBI and a run. And that's it. That's how game number 52 ends here, folks. What a great game of Cheese League Baseball here on Geek Cheese on YouTube. So if you like this video, please feel free. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more Cheese League Baseball action. Again, this is game 52. we got 120 games here in Cheese League Baseball. So lots of baseball yet to come. And uh, follow us on Twitter at geek underscore cheese. That's where we'll post our schedules and uh, any Cheese League updates and all types of other geeky and cheesy news. Thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Again, game number 52 in the books. Rampage win. Have a good one, folks. Bye.